Following the success of the first Gulf Clinical Skills Conference held in 2012, the SMAN Diabetes Institute, known as DDI, organized a second conference in collaboration with the University of Dundee. The conference aims to meet the needs of professional researchers and practitioners involved in the development of high-quality education in all aspects of clinical skills. Sarah Farris Group has more in this report from DDI. The Sman Diabetes Institute, or DDI, inaugurated the second International Gulf Clinical Skills and Simulation Conference, which serves as the ideal platform for exchanging academic knowledge on the latest clinical updates. The aim of the conference, the theme of the conference this year is patient safety, how to improve patient safety among colleagues in healthcare as in nurses and doctors and dentists. Uh, we have people come from abroad to actually use their expertise and to share their expertise in that field and basically that's what we're aiming this year is patient safety. This year we actually did something differently. We have more workshop on the first day with the, and that's today. We have uh, all the participants or all the attendees will actually attend a workshop to improve their uh, knowledge in healthcare and knowledge in safety, actually patient safety. In day two we actually mainly is going to be more of a lectures kind of type of uh, knowledge gaining. We have about three four lectures we also have a poster presentation the second day. So I've been, I was asked to come over here to talk about work that we've been doing, research we've been doing in Scotland with uh, medical professionals, particularly surgeons, um, anaesthetists and nurses, uh, looking at what are called non-technical skills. So these are their um, thinking skills and teamwork skills that they use while they are in the operating theatre and so we've been doing behavioural research looking at what are the best behaviours to keep patients safe and what are behaviours that are more risky that we should have less of. The two-day conference features plenary lectures, skills and simulation based workshops and presentations given by a team of leading experts from various countries. I think there's a real need in Kuwait um, to make the best use of clinical skills and simulation and the Dasman Diabetes Institute has the first um, clinical skills facility um, in Kuwait which along with the other Gulf countries um, is going to lead um, a pa you know, patient safety and the um, use of simulation for safe standards of practice. So a real key uh, crucial development um, for Kuwait. This was the first day uh, of this conference and it was very grateful for me to see uh, some other colleagues from Kuwait and from GCC countries and uh, to meet some uh, professors from uh, England and from some other countries that are giving lecture us about new skills in medicine. And Diabetes, Diabetes Dasman Institute doing very good organizing team for uh, uh, innovation in medicine. The conference was established and gained momentum after DDI set up successful communication with neighboring Gulf countries and found the need to build an effective network between the clinical skills centers in the region. The second International Gulf Clinical Skills and Simulation Conference has gathered specialists from all over the Gulf to participate in this initiative that is centered around safe clinical practices with the aim of offering the high quality education that is offered here at this man. From this man Diabetes Institute, this is Sarah Glub reporting for English News.